What's going on guys? Sam here with Finn's Twins TV back with another video. Today I want to talk about auction systems for a live well, how to install one, keeping your fish alive throughout the hot summer. Make sure to subscribe and we'll get on with the video. Now during the heat of the summer, that top layer of water is going to be deficient of oxygen and that's why we're going to need a high quality oxygen system like this one here. The two main parts is going to be our diffuser and our oxygen tank and regulator. You want to get a high end diffuser, it makes real tiny bubbles, looks almost like smoke when it's coming out and that's going to rise slower and keep that water more oxygenated. Now the hoses we're going to be using are medical grade hoses from Salter Labs and get these on eBay or all over online. They're going to have to make sure you get the right size for these quarter inch hoses to make sure this end right here will fit over the nipple on the oxygen tank. Real quick before I go on with the video, I'm talking about a couple of the parts we're going to be using in the video. One thing I really like about these sweet water diffusers is the nipple can be on the top or the back and our live wells we're going to use to get on the top and with a 90 degree through hole fitting. We have this side, the 90 degree side on the inside. So we're going to straight down vertically on the back wall of our live well so these fish can't get caught behind it. One last thing with this through hole fitting, you always want this rubber gasket on the inside to keep from seeping water from the inside to the outside. And lastly, to these holes right here on your diffuser, we're going to use these aftermarket suction cups we got off of eBay to keep this thing sectioned to the bottom. You can use Velcro, but we opted to go with these suction cups. Seemed a little more reliable and easy to install. So next we have our oxygen tank mounting bracket. Now one cool thing about this specific mounting bracket is your Keep Alive oxygen tank will slide right in there and stay snug. No left or right movement. Now these will only be picked up from Oakwood Bait and Tackle or you can give them a call or see them on Facebook and they'll send you one by mail. Now between our oil reservoir and our battery we have a spot for this to slide in right here on the divider wall. So we're gonna slide that down there, mark our two holes and we're gonna bolt that in with two bolts and we'll be set to go. Now for this specific project, we're gonna be using two different diffusers in our different live wells. So you need a Y joint like this. Put this onto the hose and you're gonna run this to the two separate live wells. Now make sure when you're doing this that when you separate them, each hose has to be the same length after this or else you're not gonna have the same amount of oxygen in each live well. All right, so we got all of our hoses installed to our regulator and our tank. So now we're gonna grab our half inch drill bit and we're going to drill through from our bilge and into our live well. Let's drill that through and that's going to make a hole for our fitting to go through. Hook the hoses up and then we'll be ready to go. Alright, so now you have this side of the tube connected to one side of the fitting. You're going to grab your sweet water diffuser, suction cup it to the bottom, and then you're going to attach this other one foot cord over here to the back side of your live well to the other side of your fitting. All right guys, so I brought you outside to show y'all our new oxygen setup. Show you guys inside the live well and what that looks like when it turns on. But before we get into that, I'm gonna show you guys everything we did today with our new oxygen setup. So starting from the bilge and going into the live wells, we have our new oxygen tank holder along with the oxygen tank and the regulator. From there, we have a four foot hose going to the Y connector, splitting off with two one foot hoses going to the through hole fitting that goes into the live well. From there, we have two one foot hoses going down into the ceramic stone and from there, it disperses the oxygen up into the live well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Like always, make sure to comment. We really love hearing what you guys have to say. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.